Hello friends, in this topic, we are going to learn the construction working of semiconductor laser and also we will go further for its application. So the question arises is explain principal construction and working of semiconductor laser. So what is there in semiconductor laser? Let's understand what is its construction. In semiconductor laser, the diode is small in size of 1 mm side and the junction lies in horizontal plane through the center. The top and bottom faces are metallized and ohmic contacts are provided to pass the current in the diode. The front and rear faces are polished parallel to each other and perpendicular to plane of junction and these faces serve as resonance cavity. Now let's understand this with the diagram. So as shown in diagram, this is P type layer, this is N type layer and the junction is in between them. At this point, metallic contacts are established so as to have the current in and out circuit. Then the active region is in between these two P type and N type substrates of the PN junction diode. So as explained in the construction, the diode is in a small size of 1 mm. The junction lies in a horizontal plane. So generally when you learn semiconductor physics, so this is P region, this is N region and junction is in between. So this is in vertical plane. But in semiconductor laser, we use junction which is in a horizontal plane. So simply we can say this is N or P, this is N or P and in between here it is the junction. So this is how it is in horizontal plane. The top surface and bottom surface are having metallic contacts over here so as to provide electrical connections right like shown in the diagram and this is optically flat and parallel faces which are used in P and N type substrates and laser output is produced by the active region which is P N junction. Now the other two opposite faces are roughened to prevent lasing in that direction. As shown in diagram here, these two faces here are roughened so as to prevent the leakage of laser. And the active region consists of one micrometer thickness and it is heavily doped PN junction. So PN junction will act as a active medium over here. Now, how it works? The working of semiconductor laser is when the junction is unbiased, the Fermi level is uniform across the junction. I have understood Fermi level, Fermi level that is energy level of P type N type is at equilibrium or you can say at stable level when junction is unbiased. So obviously you have to do biasing to semiconductor which will then operate the PN junction. So when a forward bias is applied, so if we apply forward biasing to PN junction, it goes in conduction mode. So the energy level shifts and now distribution is as shown in diagram here. So energy distribution is at P and at EN. Now at a low forward current, the electron hole recombination cause spontaneous emission of photons and the junction act as an LED light emitting diode. And as we increase the current, as the current increases, light intensity also goes on increasing. When the current reaches a threshold value, 
द कैरियर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इन द डिप्लेशन रीजन रीचेस वेरी हाई वैल्यूज विथ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द कंडक्शन बैंड एंड होल्ड्स इन द वैलेंस बैंड सो द अपर लेवल्स इन द डिप्लेशन रीजन हैव हाई पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी डिप्लेशन रीजन में क्या हो जाएगा हाई पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी हो जाएगी कहा अपर लेवल्स में एंड दिस हाई पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वेल द लोअर लेवल्स इन द सेम रीजन आर वैकेंट तो जैसे कि हम सेमी कंडक्टर में स्टडी करते हैं वैलेंस बैंड या लोअर लेवल ऑफ एनर्जी एंड हाइयर लेवल दिस इज लोअर लेवल एनर्जी दिस इज हाइयर लेवल एनर्जी सो हाइयर में पॉपुलेशन ज्यादा हो जाती है जबकि यहां पर वैकेंसीज बन जाती है ई वन में ई वन में क्या हो जाता है वैकेंसीज बन जाती है सो दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन इन्वर्जन ऑब्वियसली हमें यही चाहिए होता है लेजिंग एक्शन में और एक्टिव रीजन वी कैन से इज ऑकर्ड ओ दफोर द फॉरवर्ड बायस करंट एक्ट एज अ पंपिंग एजेंट इन सेमी कंडक्टर डायोड लेजर so pumping is done by forward biasing of pn junction simply say and the protons that propagate in the junction plane induce the conduction electron to jump into the vacant states of valence band the stimulated electron hole recombination cause emission of coherent radiation of very narrow bandwidth and at room temperature gallium arsenide gaas and gallium arsenide phosphide gaasp lasers emit light at wavelength of 9000 armstrong in infrared and 6500 armstrong in visible red region respectively likewise we are having led but in led the intensity of light is less where in semiconductor laser the intensity of light is achieved more the cavity is bounded by two bright mirrors or highly reflecting polished surfaces at either ends of the active medium and they reflect the photons to and fro so this will be working like resonant cavity for the active medium so here let's understand the transition by diagram also in first diagram what we observe is on left we are having n type on right we are having p type and junction is in between so what happens when we give forward biasing then the electrons are accumulated more in higher state which causes population inversion there so this is inversion region and then holes or you can say vacancies are there on lower level that is in valence band and which causes recombination which emits the laser light what are the advantages of semiconductor laser the first advantage is it is simple in construction like uh, in helium neon we need to have higher voltage of 1 kV and for that precautions should be there and circuit should be designed accordingly in india also we have complex electrical circuit but in semiconductor laser very simple construction is there very simple circuit is there it is also compact as size of pn junction is very small or the diode you are using is a small size it is also robust and easily portable as it is smaller in size it requires very less input power obviously semiconductor hamesha hi kam energy consume karta hai all the electronic or semiconductor devices are low energy consumption devices and their output power ranges between 0.5 watt to a few of watts there is no need of mirrors here because n type and p type jo hai wo already 
नॉन ट्रांसपेरेंट सर्फेस इसका काम कर लेते हैं देर कॉस्ट इज वेरी लेस ऑब्वियसली इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंपोनेंट्स की कॉस्ट वैसे भी बहुत कम होती है देर आउटपुट बीम क्वालिटी इज एक्सलेंट एज इट इज कोहरेंट एंड ऑल्सो हैज हाई लाइट डेंसिटी here the most important part in this laser is metastable state is not required in semiconductor laser so if uh, one asks the question like which laser do not require metastable state then the answer is semiconductor laser although there is population inversion takes place here but population inversion of electrons in conduction band takes place here but there is no need of metastable state and its output can be easily controlled by simply varying the junction current you have to just change the amount of current at junction in forward bias condition and then you will be having different intensity of laser light but there are few disadvantages also that the semiconductor laser is highly temperature sensitive semiconductor laser is highly temperature sensitive why because semiconductor materials are highly sensitive to temperatures and the second disadvantage is it produces highly divergent beam it produces highly divergent beam then what are the applications of semiconductor laser it is mostly used in laser printers and photocopiers where it is used laser printers and photocopiers it is also used in cd players and in fiber optic communication system semiconductor laser is used as light source and also for interacting with the system so in this topic we have understood the construction working of semiconductor laser and in the three types of lasers the most convenient and most simple laser is semiconductor laser so i hope you understood and the important part of these three lasers is metastable state and population inversions are required in helium neon and ndr laser but semiconductor laser do not require any metastable state but the population inversion is everywhere in all three type of lasers and also optical pumping schemes are four level pumping schemes in helium neon laser and ndr laser where optical pumping scheme is not there in semiconductor laser i hope you understood the all three types of lasers thank you